Ooh. My God, what hit you, the Pittsburgh Steelers? No. Bakersfield Cowboys. Bro, you got any uh, edibles on board? Some, yeah. Uh, I tell you what, I didn't sleep last night, and I don't, I don't think I can turn around and make it back to Lawrence. I, I was thinking about taking some grub and finding a place to camp out around here somewhere. Wow, shut with you. Ow. That don't sound half bad. We haven't had any sleep ourselves. Let's look for a spot. Look, Steve, you guys are going to camp out. Let me take your bike into Lawrence. All you right. can ride in with these guys tomorrow. Uh -huh. You ain't taking no long ride on a bike till that next ditch. Merle, I just want to get back. Hey! You going to cool off and take it easy, or do I have to shoot you full or something? This guy wants to handle us? What do you mean he wants to handle this? I thought that's what you did. Yeah, I can get you into Lawrence. I can get you into Brower, even. But, but I don't know the big circuit. I'd still be with you for legal and all. The big circuit? You gonna pull 15K out of Brower. You could pull 30 or 40 out of some of these big county fairs. Hell, Billy, I can't even get those folks on the telephone. They book acts from guys like this guy that they've been dealing with all along. We're not an act. Yeah. Well, neither's bull rope, you know what I mean? You do three or four of these big gigs this summer, you can do whatever the hell you want for the rest of the year. Hell, this guy's talking about setting you up with all fancy new costumes. He's even talking about setting up some deal with some cycle manufacturer. I'm surprised you even brought this guy around, Steve. <laughs> well, damn it, Billy. I'm just trying to help you along. You guys, is the most fun I get in my life. I just don't want to see you all break up. Damn it, Billy, you all stone broke most of the time. And, and you're taking every damn long hair that knows how to make a pair of sandals, and you want to pick up the Blue Cross tab? Do you have the slightest idea what gas is selling for, or two-by-fours, or hamburger, or anything else? You think it's breaking up? It's money, Billy. It's all to do with money. Money makes the world go around, even your world. No. It's just getting too tough. It's tough to live by the code. I mean, it's real hard to live for something that you believe in. People try it and then they get tired of it. Like they get tired of their diets, or exercise, or their marriage, or their kids, or their job, or themselves. When they get tired of their God. You can keep the money you make off this sick world, lawyer. I don't want any part of it. Anybody who wants to live more for themselves, it doesn't belong with us. Let them go out and buy some pimpy psychiatrist paperback says it's okay. Don't ask me to say it's okay. It's not okay. Once I was in a jail in Alabama. And I got my ass kicked, just like I did last night. Only then it was because I was a nigger lover. Well, I woke up in the morning, and I didn't even have energy enough to lick my wounds. I found out I'd given up. So I tried to kill myself. <clears throat> tried to cut my wrist with a bed spring. <laughs> See, I found out that I'd given up on it all because of where I was, what was all around me. Well, last night, I get my ass kicked. I came up laughing because now I'm in Camelot. <clears throat> see, the way I see it is this. You got two separate fights. The one for truth and justice and the American way of life and all that. That's got to take a back seat to the one for staying alive. You got to stay alive. Man, you can have the most beautiful ideals in the whole world, but if you die, your ideals are going to die with you. The important thing is we got to stay together. we got to keep the troop together. And if keeping the troop going means that we have to take some of this promoter's money, well, then I say let's take it and get some sleep.
Uh, get rid of that grass before we get into camp tomorrow. I don't want that shit around. <laughs>